If all of us were punished and all of us did our time and all of us are owning up to our mistakes, why shouldn't someone like him own up to his mistakes? What makes him different? I'm originally from Tijuana, Mexico. I moved to Arizona when I was 14. I went to high school here. I went to Arizona State University here. I worked as a court interpreter that was driving under the influence and I caused an accident. I rear-ended a vehicle while I was drunk, so I was charged with aggravated assault. The first couple of days, I thought I was gonna end up committing suicide because I didn't think I was gonna be able to handle it. So inside, you can only bring $40 in cash to be able to eat and buy food from the commissary. The food in there is extremely expensive. You have to get together with your friends in there and make food that feeds everybody so that everybody can get something to eat. Obviously, the weather conditions are extreme like they are today. Basically, the conditions are intensified because you are in an oven with 20 other bodies. There's been people that were carried out in stretchers because of heat strokes, heat exhaustion, dehydration. One of the most unforgettable things that I remember from my time here was somebody dying in a tent right across from mine. Um, I just remember the man not waking up when it, when it was his time to get out to go to work. And next thing you know, they came over and found him dead. I believe that the message our president is sending to the country as a whole is a message of division. All of us that have been convicted of a crime have had to comply with our punishment. You know, the president pardoning this criminal who racially profiled others in the community who terrified people, victimized people, split up families, incurred $70 million of taxpayer money to fight lawsuits. Why should somebody like that get away with it? American society in general needs to give ex-convicts, ex-criminals another chance. How about all of us in here ask for a presidential pardon so that we can get on with our lives? I mean, many people who are convicted of a crime have a hard time finding a job, have a hard time living a good, decent life, have a hard time getting an apartment. I've had to start my life all over again from scratch because of this mistake. And it really rages me that someone like him can just walk away and keep everything that he has and not face anything, not face any type of consequence for his actions.